Hello, Sodi team, and good morning. Um, it's been a busy few days at the office getting the new server put up, but I think we're pretty much there. Um, a few changes I'll go over with you. Uh, let's take a look. So, to get your email, um, I might switch over people to the Outlook client, like uh, using the actual Outlook program for your emails. Um, I don't think it's as necessary as maybe it was at one time because for me to support it uh, the um, using a Internet Explorer to check your email is a, a lot simpler and a lot easier for for our end um, for you guys if you if you insist on having Outlook that's okay I can switch you over but um, to get to the team discussion page and things like that you you're best to do it through Internet Explorer and the way that the it, it operates now is a lot smoother than the older server was. Um, a few technical things on the, the new server. You've got a gig for each of you for your mailboxes, so you can have lots of mail now. It's about four times as big as the old one was. Um, those of you who used to get the annoying messages of size issues with your mailbox shouldn't get those anymore. Um, bigger attachments, things like that. But we'll talk about that as we go along. But to get to the the email website just go to I'll bring it up here https colon forward slash forward slash office dot sodi dot ca and hit enter okay then log in uh, username and password you should know that if you're not sure let me know um, but just logging in as you normally would okay and then you should see something like this um, check email is pretty straightforward if you click on that you should bring up a separate window oh and I recommend everybody use Internet Explorer if you can this might be a um, you, some people might use Mozilla and that's okay but some of the features that you get using Internet Explorer are um, are a little better uh, just uh, it runs a little smoother runs a little quicker because it's kind of designed to go with this system so uh, don't need to use Internet Explorer that's okay but if you look on the side it looks very much like Outlook there's not much of a difference um, click on sent items you can check the items you sent if you wanna look at your inbox it's right there um, it'll show all your folders you've created over the years if you have folders for certain people who have sent you emails things like that um, deleting an email right there uh, creating a new email right under inbox you'll see new just click on that now unlike the old one it you it might not have imported your contacts but this one does with the new client so click on two and that should give you a list of all the people that are in your contacts list all the people that are on the server as well so if I was gonna send an email off to well, I'll just send one off to myself. If you want to add someone to the to list, you just double click on them and they'll automatically be added to to. After that's done, just hit OK. You know, or you can still, like, if you need to add someone who's not on the list, you just type in the, um, type in the, uh, in their, uh, in the first letter of their name and you should get a list showing up automatically. So I'll send a, like that test and hit send and that's it you've sent an email if you go back into your inbox to print an email just double click on it and then you should see a little printer option here you just click on that and then it'll automatically bring up the default printer but and it'll print it just like a web page now unlike having to the old one where you used to have to download things like that now that my emails arrived the one that I sent you'll you'll get a little icon up in this corner here that says you've got a new email you'll see it's highlighted black just click on it came in just like a just like you would if you were using Outlook right away delete 
They have your deleted items folder. It's all here. Um, contacts, if you want to just check your contacts, they should all be there for you. Um, distribution lists. If you have a distribution list of people, that's all right there. Pretty much, it's exactly like Outlook. There's not much of a difference at all. Uh, okay, so, you know, any questions on that, let me know. You know, reading views, things like that. Uh, you could probably, you might want to post that in the team discussion page, which we'll get to. Okay, so since we had a separate window come up for the, for Outlook, for to check your email. Um, this main page will still be available to you. But you see we've got an option now for connect to a computer which we may or may not use. That allows you if you want to connect to your office computer from somewhere remote you can you can do it there. Um, but there's also an option for internal website and I think this is going to come in real handy for us over time. It might ask you to log in again. There it is. Um, now the calendars and things like that, we're using Google Calendar now. Uh, we may sh integrate this or switch over. I haven't decided yet. What I'll do is I will, um, I'm gonna create a, uh, we're gonna go to the team discussion page. right here on the side. There you go. So now, if you look, there's an option for team discussion. Um, what this is, is a, just a forum where you guys can post information, thoughts. Um, I really suggest instead of emailing out, uh, if you come across an interesting article, don't email it to everybody. Post it here. Um, now, the way to do that is you know, if there's already discussions here and you want to read them, it's real simple. You just click on it. I started one here the other day where it's just if anyone wants to reply, put thoughts of of how they like the new outlook. Um, if you want to go back to click on team discussion, um, you know, here's for here's a good one here which already has a reply. It's just uh, how to set up your BlackBerry. I put the steps here. Ashley, thank you says it worked well. If you want to reply to to this or this message, just hit reply. And that brings up a, an option to reply to it. Um, to post a new discussion, just hit new discussion. We'll call this one test. Hit OK. And that adds it. See, test, new. So people want to reply to that, they can do it. No. We can get rid of it if we need to later. But that, we're going to, you know, if you have a link you want to add or if you had something you want to to discuss with the team, do it through there. That's your best bet. Um, any other questions, let me know. Give me a call. I'm uh, at my desk all day, but I'll be putting this on YouTube so you guys can refer to it later. Um, shared documents, calendar, tasks, things like that. We'll be adding that uh, as we go along. Um, you know, archived emails, that's something that we are a long ways away. We don't have, we're not running out of space anytime soon. Um, but, uh, you know, shared documents, fact center, we won't be using. But the team discussion page is something we'll be using a lot of. We're definitely, you know, to keep all of our information in one spot, that's the best place to do it. So, uh, any questions, let me know. Bye for now.